Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Bard's Tale. Uh, the last time we went up the tower, and we went down the tower again, and we defeated the boss of the second tower, who is now our minion, and for some stones we can summon him to spin things around us and drop spears from the sky and stuff like that. So, what's what's up next? What are we up to? Well, it's two out of three towers, and of course the princess is in the... He's always not in the tower, but in the next one. So we'll be heading over to the city of... I think it was Dunby or Doonby of some sorts. And um, we have s some form of fetch quest there. I'm sure it is. Uh, I can't quite remember, but it usually ends up being a fetch quest of some sort. And of course we have heaps of druids to fight on the way. But I've got my trusty knight with me. And um, I'm still using my very electric longsword. I quite like that thing. Alright, this looks pretty much like the exit. Oh, th this might have been the wall that was closed previously? Or maybe this is a different... I can't quite remember, but I think we need to go through there. Yes, leave Mountain Tower. And we're on the other side. And we are going to East Dunby, Doonby, something like that. And there's undead cows. Okay. <laughs> can, can, can we go over there? Can we get anywhere to these places over there? Not really. Okay, it looks like we're, we really have to go through the city first. Okay, Finnick, the evil boss wizard. What are you up to? That is some vertigo inducing camera movement right here. It's true then. Yes, my lord, we've kept the northern passes under watch as you commanded. He will enter the city soon. I don't know what game he plays by coming here, but he will regret it. Allow him to pass through the northern gate unmolested. When he's inside the city, we will strike. What is this bard of yours trying to accomplish, woman? Why is he coming to my city? He can't hope to free you yet. The island tower still stands. I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about, Lord Finnick. He will fail, Calais. And when he does, I will reinforce the strength of your bonds a thousand times over. You will never be free. You've come out of the north. Aye. Not many do. How is it you've come through the mountains unscathed? I don't see how that's any business of yours. Just passing the time, friend. No need to bristle. There isn't any much work for us these days. Not since those thrice damn druids took over the city. Druids, eh? When did this happen? They come from that old tower in the middle of town about a week ago. Claimed the place for their Lord Finnick. You do best to steer clear of them if you know what's good for you. Yeah, I think that's good advice. My thanks. The bard ventured into the lion's den, unable to shake the eerie feeling that he was being watched. Brothers, kill him. Right then. Oh, well. It turns out um, we have druids in the city as well, who want to kill me. Okay, <laughs> not not so much of an issue, because uh, we we've we've leveled up quite a bit and we're strong enough now to deal with these guys a lot more easily. Let's see. Maybe I'll I'll try to use the regular sword just a bit more, because that was actually quite fun. The the shorter weapons like the sword are faster to attack but don't have the same kind of knockback effects and uh, damage like the, the bigger weapons. So you do need to see what works best for the respective playstyle. But I'm gonna try it out for a bit. And they don't also, don't also have the range, so you do need, if you, if you get knocked back by enemies, then you do need to run back at them. Is this a door? No, this doesn't look to be a door. Uh, this seems to be a rather linear town. Oh no, there's, uh, there's a crossing. Okay, that's a lot of guys. All right, come on in. Bring it on. 
brothers. Kill him. And I, I know I said earlier that the the light fairy actually doesn't work that well against these guys, but um, it does blind them. And as long as they don't cast the uh, area of effect spells uh, and just just try to attack it with their with uh, with their blades, then it works pretty well, <laughs> and it still stuns them. Okay, what's around here? There seem to be a couple of places we can go. There's one on this. Okay, there's one. It's at somebody's house. Well, let's see what's in here. It's Donnan's house. Okay. Uh, we just walk into random people's houses. <laughs> That's what we do. This is my home. What do you want? Depends on you. Got any daughters laying about? I've no daughters nor money for the likes of you. All right, then. Well, nothing nothing for us here. Let's, let's leave. Where's the exit? Uh... Here somewhere. Oh, yeah, there. Okay, that's the door. Okay, there was another one somewhere further south here. Yeah, we just passed by it. Now, one problem... Oh, this is the sheriff's office. One problem, every time we, we're transitioning, the druids are respawning. <laughs> okay. Let's see what the sheriff's got to say. Got a crime to report, fill out the parchment. In triplicate. If it's a missing person, forget it. People come to Dunmi to get lost, not to be found. In fact, I can't really help you with much of anything. Those druids are the real all around here. I've nothing to report. I'm just passing through town. Hey, good luck on that. A lot of folks trying to pass through and not many succeeding. Say, you want to see something funny? Why not? I could use a laugh right about now. Hey, which one of your sorry lowlifes is the chosen one? I am. I'm the chosen one. No, I'm the chosen one. I must fulfill my destiny. No, he's not. I'm the chosen one. I will save the world. <laughs> that cracks me up every time. They come to town talking crazy, taking on monsters twice their size. Got so bad I had to lock them up for their own safety. Say, you aren't one of these chosen ones, are you? <laughs> oh, no, not me. I'm all about wine, women and song. Pretty much in that order. Wait, make that women, wine and song. <laughs> yeah. Well, look here, boyo. You just stay clear of trouble. We're definitely not singing for me in any way whatsoever. I'm not a chosen one. Uh, I'm not one of these losers. <laughs> no need to lock me up. I'm just here to rescue the princess. Uh, for coin and cleavage, usually. If it's not too difficult. All right. Nothing over here. Uh, let's get back out and see what else. Okay, that's where the door is. Now I start remembering what these doors are looking like. 
And of course the druids will have respawn at this point. Okay, we've leveled up. So... Let's see, what... Let's collect for the loot first, what are we gonna get? The stronger mm. the body is, the more I am the really using my weapons, weapons quite a the bit. The so strength is probably a good idea. With and maybe one into rhythm? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we've got some new talents to pick from. Uh, let's see. So I do quite enjoy the... The bard will counter attack mm. in a circle after blocking. Dual wield. I haven't really been doing dual wield. I do enjoy the two handed weapon quite a bit. So maybe I'll just go with this one. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so back to my two handed sword. And uh, let's see if we can try that out. That sounded good. So I need to parry. Okay. Oh, and then he does a slash thing. Okay, that sounds nice. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Um, it's quite nice because you get a, a parry and a counter attack at the same time. Okay, where does this lead? This goes... Okay, leave East Dunby. No, 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 we don't want to do that. Okay, there was one, there was one path leading south for before we before we came here, and then there's this one. So this looks rather square and linear. Ah, uh, what's down? What's down here? Is there anything in the corner? There's something shiny over there. Okay, now that's just a wall. All right, what is this? Mm. You there? What do you want? You're him. You're the bard. The bard's at the gate. Call out the brothers. Okay then. Uh, I appear to have found the tower, the Phoenix Tower, but. Um, of course, I can't get in because there's a force field in the way. I, I do could, could use my um, the dude who had slightly questionable tastes from way earlier, who tended to throw himself into the force fields for the tickles. <laughs> if I can, if I, let's put it that way. And that dude would have been maybe useful, but it looks like um, the plot doesn't quite let us in there yet. So uh, let's just murder whoever, but whoever's on. Eh? Whoever's on the outside, yo, stop that. And, um, okay, I can't quite reach them there. There's another one. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend any more time here. I'm just gonna kill those. And, uh, be done with it. Okay. So, what's, what, oh, there's, nope, there's yet one more. Can you, can, come on, let's just kill him. <laughs> All right, uh, what have we lost? We've lost the healer. So, healer respawned. And let's see what else we can find in the city. Oh, there's another there's another house we can go into. Uh, there's one who's running away. Hey, stop! Yo! Oi! Get back here! I need to kill you! Evil druid. Stop running away! Get back! Alright, gotcha. Nope. He's still alive. Alright, screw you. Okay. I missed, there was a, I'm getting too far ahead of myself. There was a house here that we could go inside. Hello, sir. Do you have fancy antiques? I've been collecting them for years. You're the only thing I fancy. Ah, I know your type. I'm not that kind of woman. Be off with you. Well, if it is even slightly of the female persuasion, the bard has absolutely no problem with going for it. So, um, yeah, questionable choices, my friend, questionable choices. Of course, the druid has respawned and now he's running away again. I'll uh, just ignore him. All right, there was something further. Is that a thing? No, that's just the wall here. Okay, there was something up here. Uh, okay, let's not go down there quite yet. Does this connect back up? Where, where we passed by earlier. I would almost wager it does. Okay, yeah, that looks like the area where we were earlier. So, all right, there's nothing else for us over here, I think. So, uh, let's just head back. I think this is, okay, there's a safe point. And there's something. Okay, another house. We're going in everybody's house, okay. 
These be the French, apparently. Bonjour! Also very nice to see you again. You have come to pay us what you owe us, no? Oui, oui. He must be here for that very thing. Jean, you are so smart. You are, how they say, the smelliest fish in the drawer. I think you mean the sharpest knife, don't you? And since I've never met you, the only thing I owe you is a view of my arse as I leave. Wait, wait, not so fast. Perhaps it is possible we could be mistaken? No, there's no mistake. You two are wasting my time. You have the manners of a peasant. But as I am in such an agreeable mood, I will forgive you your insult and offer instead for you a... Uh, how you say? A deal. Oh, Jean, Jean! Once again you prove we are the cleverest of brothers. Are we not the cleverest of brothers? Are we not, how you say, sly as boogers? Oui. We want to give you a pleasant little tune that will summon the sexiest of beasts to aid in combat. If you would do for us but one small favor, we would give it to you. Too to sweet. One small favor. I'll grant you one small favor. Just one. What is it? Très magnifique! All you must do for us is to find Dunin, who lives very close, and collect from him the 50 silver pieces he owes us. Oui, oui. Get us the money, and we will give you the song. Find Donan, get the 50 silvers. Done. Okay, first of all, these guys are extremely annoying. Second of all, um, this is just gonna go all, all kinds of wrong, isn't it? I know. <laughs> Uh, how do we really want to go on this side quest? All right, let's do it. I mean, if there's a spell in there, which means obviously a, a different kind of follower. Now, Donan, Donan, we've seen this guy before, haven't we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've seen him before. He was, uh, he, I think he was in the first house that we visited. So let's head back there and uh, see what he's got to say. Yeah, this is gonna go wrong. Yeah, this should be this. It should be this house. Yep, yeah, that's Donan's house. This is my home. What do you want? A drink if you've got one. And the 50 silvers you owe the Fox Brothers. Oh, you owe them? Ha! They owe me. And more than 50. Try 500. Just pay the 50, old man. I don't know anything about 500. Then either they're liars or you're an idiot. Which is it? Look here. If I were you, I'd head back and take it up with them. All right? I knew this was not going to work out. <laughs> ah, okay, I'll play along. Let, let's see how far we have to, how much punishment we have to take until we get, um, of course, all the druids have respawned, uh, until we get the, um, the spell. Okay, I'm just going to ignore these guys and just going to head back. Look here, you melodious miscreants. Donan, don't owe you a thing. Then he is a liar. I tell you what. You want a song? We have a silver frog that was taken from us by Ketir and hidden under her bed. Bring that to us and we will give you your song. Oui, oui, the frog. Get us the frog. Get it yourself. I'm not going on another wild goose chase for the two of you. Who said anything about that goose, you silly man? We are talking about a frog. Quite right. A frog, small and shiny. So lovable and cute, you know. Oh, Jean, I want it. You promised me you would get it for me, and I want it. I won't fall for your tricks again, boys. All right, looks like we really have to do this to the bitter end, don't we? Well, are you going to get it or aren't you? All right, but this is it. No more funny business. Oui, of course, no more business that is funny. We will await your return. <sighs> They're making me work for it. They are making me work for it. This is this is some form of 
Well, first of all, the developers don't seem to like the French very much. Given that everybody here has somewhat of like a Scottish, maybe, accent, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. And, um, uh, yeah, they're also really making you work for for this particular spell. You? Back again? I'll call the sheriff if you continue to harass me. Look here. The only thing I want is the silver frog you stole from the Fox Brothers. Now hand it over. Is that what they told you? They tried to buy it from me and I wouldn't part with it. Now they've sent you here to collect. Why, those bastards? That's twice they've done this to me. I might not have believed you had this not happened before. Give them a swift kick in the gonads for me when you see them. Look here, you bleeding idiots. Hand over the tune or I'll puree the both of you. Ha! We will be giving you nothing. We oui. Ha! Now go away and stop the wasting of our time. Fine. I'll waste you instead. On guard! Time to die. OK, OK, we surrender already. We cannot take this fight any longer. Take it! Take it and go away! Oh, Jean, I think I am going to faint. Frère Jacques! Frère Jacques! All right, then. I think that's done. Well, at least we're getting a lot of experience. So what does this spell do? To the bard. Knockers are well known for their ingenuity in crafting fabulous devices, and this one was no exception. His lightning rods could change the tide of battle in an instant. Okay, so it's some form of uh, uh, area of effect spell thing with lightning. All right, let's summon one of these dudes and see what they do. Where was he? Uh, no. Uh, oh, there he is. Okay. Elemental. We've got almost all the spells by now. For all the followers. So that's not bad. Alright then. I'm here. Let's try this out. Um, of course the things will have respawned. So where shall we go from here to try out our new follower? Um, let's see. Let's try this old city thing. That we passed by earlier. This sounds like some form of dungeon that we can do. So let's see. Let's see how this plays out. Okay, so he's he's kind of like an upgraded version of the electric spider. He doesn't have much health. He seems to be some form of gnome of, of sorts, but he does uh, he does attack multiple enemies, which I mean, if we're dealing with those druids, actually sounds like a decent thing. So oh what. Where, where did all my followers go? What happened? Um, okay, they all died, but I didn't take any damage. Okay, let's summon them again. This is weird. There goes my healer. And what else did we need? Uh, let's get. Let's get the. Maybe it's a trap of some sorts. Let's get the archaeologist dude out. Grandpa Indiana Jones here. And our lightning throwing gnome. All right, let, let's see if he can if he can deal with this and and disarm any kind of trap that we might have hit. Maybe I just got lucky and didn't get triggered by it. Uh, no. Uh, actually, as soon as oh. shimmering particles of light danced in the air, shining there in the darkness, they dampened and suppressed the bard's magic. Knowing that he must now venture forth alone, without the help of his songs, our hero readied himself for action. So at this point in the game, it actually um, it actually gets really interesting because you've been playing for so long, and I really like that they did this. You've been playing for so long with uh, things like the healer, that you know you could be relatively reckless and just you know um, just just run up to everybody, slap them in the face. If you took some damage, the healer would take care of it. But and you would you were used to having your um, having your followers around with you who would tank for you and do extra damage and all these kind of things. You don't have that anymore. In this particular section, you're suddenly on your own. Which means you don't get healed, which means you don't have others to tank for you except for the dog, provided that you actually got the dog in the beginning. Oh and we have uh, Whoa, it's it's Resident Evil. We've got liquors. <laughs> okay, 
Um, suddenly, this this whole thing became a lot more challenging because you actually need to watch and be a lot more careful that you parry and need to watch out for your health. You cannot just run up to the enemies and um, hit them in the face, completely disregarding your own health bar. So suddenly, this became um, the this. First of all, this reminds me. I, I am getting Diablo feels here. Just just uh, from this from this segment alone, I am getting huge Diablo feels here. And um, it, even even the the like the round health bar and uh, mana bar look almost, uh, almost somewhat similar, but yeah, it's, uh, suddenly you, you get yourself trapped in a corner and you need to run for it because the um, you, you're running out of health and you don't have the healer to just top you up. So this this actually was a really nice challenge to get through that. And I've, I've tried a variety of things. At some point, I would just get the bow out and um, just, just shoot them from a distance uh, because the bow, the bow knocks them back. So And the dog really helps here at this point. If you have not gotten the dog in the beginning, the game is so much more difficult in these certain sections uh, because the dog cannot despawn. He can just be stunned for a while. And... Um, you, you can actually shoot them from range and do uh, do a lot of things, just you know, knocking them back. But again, you actually really need to uh, be a lot more careful in this section. And then finally, the payoff. So what did we get? Upgraded crone. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That was just for that. It was absolutely worth it. To spare your life, I tell you now, a warning you must heed. From deep inside you must allow all the courage you shall need. For whatever foes lie ahead in wait, or what hideous creatures lurk, your sword alone will tell your fate, for an anti-magic area lies ahead. Ah, ah, that last part didn't even rhyme, did it? No, didn't, did it? What do you want? I'm making this up as I go. You think this is easy? Why don't you try hanging around on a bloody war for centuries? All right, don't go shooting off at the mouth. <laughs> it seems almost as if that was supposed to be the entrance. And maybe I just missed that. But um, it looks like I, would, I was supposed to come in from the other side. I think that's enough for today. That's been... That's been a, an interesting, interesting experience, and uh, I guess we'll we'll leave it here. And the next time, we'll see West Dunby, Dunby, however you pronounce that damn thing. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Have a good weekend, and I'll see you next time. Bye, bye.